How many of you remember the story of this particular man who they said is a sacrifant? He lured these women to his house. After then, dog them. After he dog them, he buy them. You know, as a going to show or follow up the case in order for him to get justice for those guys that were recently by. I believe there were manhunts on his head. Police or law enforcement agency caught him right in front of his bench. They move him. Good evening. I've been getting messages from, you know, lots of people asking me what's the update on this matter. Uh, currently, the update is that they are yet to be found. You know, Celine and her friend are yet to be found. Your trip, how was your journey? Um, you have to bring your friend. I, I, I see where I live now. I live, I'm in Aba now. I live in Aba. I've got a new office here. I live in this big, great big mansion. Got six bedrooms. So let's talk before, not this weekend, next, come next weekend, okay? Send you some money. Just get a, just get a taxi, an Uber, a Bolt. It's cost you about maybe 50,000 to come here, okay? So yeah, come spend the next two nights with your friend. We'll have, we'll have a bit of fun, we'll sort of go out and have some food, okay? Um, yeah, I live in there, I've got a beautiful, beautiful house now. Absolutely beautiful. It's even better than my other place, okay? All right, all right, girl, you take care. Bye. Amaka, <laughs> it's me, Andrew. Sorry, we didn't do the video call last night. So. See now, uh, the two friends have not been found. They have not been found till now. Uh, you know, this case is reported in Aba, Abia State, later transferred to at kidnapping in Aba, uh, later transferred to, uh, you know, Umuahia. Then the case is uh, transferred to Abuja. And till now, these two friends have not been found. Till now, they have not been found. Uh, this man has refused to confess to the whereabouts of these two friends and uh, that is just it. Uh, the families are worried, everybody is worried, their friends, everybody is worried about this. And um, the victims, these previous victims are coming out and they are saying that this man, this is what this man did to us. And, you know, let's see how, well, let's see what, what, what happens. But it happened to be now, the case is twisted. What is happening right now that I heard is like Nigeria police. Why will now always, always, always drag on herself out on social media? All right, guys. So we are still in uh, Benue State. All right. I'm going to show you the video of Andrew the day he was the pictures and videos of Andrew the day he was. All right. I'm going to show you the videos and, and picture. Okay. Uh, So, um, we are here at the mortuary. The, the man that people are saying that police people collected money and he escaped is at the mortuary in Oto Otupo, Otupo. Otupo in Benue State. So, the story from the police that this man is dead is correct. All right. So, if you want to get more verification about if he's alive, go to the police. Police will bring you to the mortuary and show you. Uh -huh. All right, yes. but this, you know, simple as that. All right, so please, uh, this man Andrew Ameti Ashley Ochekwa is dead and is gone forever. He's no, uh, he's not alive anymore. He's nowhere anywhere. If you see him anywhere in this country, anywhere in this world, that's no semi Harrison don't lie for you. Can never rest in peace. Uh -huh. So this man. They don't he don't die as they escaped from what the police said he was, and he was killed. Okay, so while verifying his body at the mortuary, I had to put three persons on the video call. Um my mommy Adiotu, um Tessi, the sister to Celine, and um, um one of the victims of Andrew, a lady who confirmed that this man is Andrew. He was so you know, yeah. So this is uh, when I made the call again to ask the girl, is the man you saw, is it Andrew or is it um, Uko Kukafu? And she said, this is Andrew, 
my mind is now at rest. I for what we saw here now, the man don't die. He's not alive in that much for him. He's gone and he's gone forever. So I will share the video, I will still share the picture of the day he died, the day they killed him, how it looks like and everything. You understand? Alright. So this man now that that you saw now on video call, is he the same the same Andrew Chipo or somebody else? Now, a case that's supposed to be served like justice now is not like a criminal case. Police will rob a man because they, it's no longer like they seek justice for him. Now, not for the man not to cry out, they, they rob the man, they make it look like okay, the man we're trying to escape, they move him instantly. Now, the whole Nigeria is now asking, Are we supposed to? applaud you guys for what you just did like we are i was supposed to clap hands because we no longer understand what ha what is happening the count officers is saying that there is money missing from this man account before they buy him because the body of the man is still with the police what happened and how it happened and i want you guys to watch this particular video we'll be right back andrew was treated like a victim and not a suspect and the reason why andrew stayed two weeks in custody and without telling them where about of Selim and Asiba. You know. Do you know that the police told uh, us, okay, let me just not say us, but if I came in the point, the police told the family that Selim and Asiba uh, kidnapped themselves, you know, that they kidnapped their, their, themselves and uh, maybe they are using that method to want to extort money from. Uh, from this man, Andrew. I just uh, met with um, the commander I Aruti Abuja. I'm just leaving the office uh, now. So he reached out to me uh, a few days ago, and um, you know, the day that I come with the victim. You know, as a victim, I I talked about, I posted uh, victim of uh, the Andrew, you know, Chopo. Know, uh, uh, who escaped from uh, his custody? Head who stayed for six days, and I uh, have met with the IRT commander. Thank you for the good job, sir. And um, I'm safe, everyone. Thank you for your uh, for for your concern and reaching out to me. The messages and prayers. Uh, thank you so much. I appreciate. God bless you. Good evening, everyone. My name is Harrison Guamnishu. Uh, I just left from the police uh, office in Abuja and um, you know why I was scared, why I posted my location was because you know before I left Delta with the victim to Abuja I I was threatened one and uh, I got a call and information that Andrew Ochoko, the man who kidnapped you know the two girls the two friends you know was and um, it is confirmed that the man uh, is dead currently you know and um, uh, the story is long they said the man was tried there was, a, was a escaped from the police police were bringing him from this case was located in Amba was in Amba not in office in Amba um, why? Then, because the man was living lad while in the police custody in Aba, the petition was filed to the IG office for case transfer. This case was approved, and the police from Abuja went to Aba to pick up the case file. And they said when they pick up the case file and the suspect, they, they took him. They were taking him to Abuja. And something happened. The man tried to escape, and some vigilante or something, something, they shot the man at police custody. So now, this man can never tell us where Selene and Afiba are currently. It's too really long, where where? It's too really long, where where? Nigeria, I hate you. Of this is happening. Nigeria cried out a certain time and said, "Hensas, hensas." It happens to be that we just thought on our own head that it is a group of people that are SARS. The SARS is just the full law enforcement agency of Nigeria. All of them 
if there are 100 law enforcement, either police, mobile, uh, SARS, DSS, or ESCC, all of them, if there are 100, 90 are so corrupt. Corrupt to the point that because they are not getting paid well. What is on them at the same time is on the federal government, who is not taking care of this police. Remember the Super Copa Bakare, how we all thought this man is so good because he caught Evans, he caught this, he caught Shin Rambo, he caught every criminal in the state. Everybody was just like, until we also find a video of him with the LDA where he was engaging in drugs. These police officers in Nigeria, they are so corrupt. We see how they jump on a movie van, dragging story because of Andre Nera. We see them in different videos on how they manhandle citizens because they look good. They put on good necklaces. They are driving good cars. All they want, they don't want to know whether you are into business, cryptocurrency. They don't want to know. As long as you are a young guy, you are looking good, you have money, you must be arrested, not to the police station, but to a completed building whereby they will extract for you. If you, feel, if you feel like this man that we just take money from will talk, they will move you instantly. This has been going on in Nigeria system. If you are crying out that we need to sanitize the Nigeria system, believe it, it has to be all of them going out. But the federal government don't give it them because now they have been crying for over a decade now. There should be state police whereby each state can equip their police, increase their salary, and do whatever they want. To. If, there, if there is a state police, you can hear maybe people from Abia State now, police might be receiving 300000 a month. Lagos State, 500000 a month. Uh, Delta State, 200000 a month. States by states, like that. But they, they don't want it. Whereby, they want to keep on using these people to carry out their atrocity. Whenever they comes. Whenever, the, whenever it comes to Nigerians, like crying, increasement of civil service, it becomes a problem. I want you guys to see this particular video. The first time I see Pastor Mbaka making sense. You hear what he said? For me, I quite agree with him. If you're a civil servant, no matter who you are, either state police, either uh, Senate, House of Assembly, Honorable, as long as you are under government, receiving government salary or receiving federal salary, you are a civil servant. Why can't you just make it all equal? Because most of you that are sitting in that Senate making this decision, you are not even well qualified or educated as normal civil servant that is receiving this 60,000 naira or contemplating. They are not yet receiving it. Most of them are receiving 40,000 naira. Why you are making up to 10 million a month? That is the biggest problem. Now. The fact like you hit 10 million, no, no, that person should receive more than 40,000 naira. You wanted to buy me. Let me use the word. They wanted to buy me. He told me some few things. He was like, he's going to remove my O-R-G-A-N. Mm -hmm. He said he's going to remove my O-R-G-A-N. Mm -hmm. Then he will, he, he will remove your head. Uh... Yes, and my... So people would think you used me for R I T U A L. So that that way that way you do that, into, people would think he used you for that. Mm -hmm. Yes, you said he's not into that stuff. But he told me, he told me he wanted like he, because he he brought out two sharp two N I V E. Mm -hmm. He brought out two and other sharp objects with a wrapped nylon, and he uh -huh. told me what he said. He said he wanted to remove my N I V R and my K I D N E Y. So why so why are you now defending him that he's not into that stuff? Why? No, which stuff are you talking about? About re harvesting. She's talking about harvesting. I don't want us to talk too much on it. I don't have a clue about that one. Then you, you shouldn't just be defending him. You, know you shouldn't. Eh? You shouldn't. I don't know. He don't do that. As far as I'm concerned, I'm not gonna come here and start telling you what I don't know. All right, what I don't know. Okay, um, okay. And secondly, you have hello, my hello, like that you have my. Can you hello? Yes. That is please. Yes, Mr. Yeah. Ben. There's a, a video you have in your phone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is the girl. You have that video in your phone. You Which have video? my video. And that's the you have, video I you have this sent to my boyfriend. How come I'm to send that video to you? Tell me. I can send that oh, video to you. You have that video. Video, video. Hold on. Is it what? What's What's your name? My name is Rachel. You are the Rachel. You, do you know a girl called Amaka? It was when 
I posted Andrew, Amaka saw the post. Reach out to you. Yes, she reached out to me. Was like this. She reached out to me. Was like this. This same person invited me. I was the one that saved Amaka. It was when I posted him, his friends were sharing the pictures. Why am I new work with? I mean, I, I chatted some few bloggers. I chatted very dark man. I chatted um this blogger with some other bots. They did not respond to me. I was not looking out for myself. I was just trying to save others, but everyone ignored me. I was just fighting this thing, this battle alone. You know, just me and my God. Die your video. You send that video. <laughs> he send the video. Listen, please. Listen, please. I know this is a very disturbing I'm situation. Listening. He sent the video on the day because when that situation come up did you he said he took his watch this guy took my watch and jump i'm like i don't know what you're same, about. same, same accusation yes that's same, what same accusation he accused that guy from stairs yes. he said you sent he said you you took his wrist watch his rollers watch okay but why is he giving you all this information he said, he said, now, now, let me ask you a question, my darling sister. You what's say, your name? Hold on, guys. Say, let me ask the lady a question. Okay. My name, name is Rachel. Okay, Rachel, okay. Rachel. 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 How did it. you meet? Okay, how did you meet? Okay, Andrew? okay, okay. Let me ask you. Like, I've been friends with Andrew since twenty since last year. So, like, Andrew likes to me. He does not base in Nigeria. He said he's based in UK. So we are friends, like. When I like when, I, when, I, when I'm down, I will like call him for advice. I used to advise me that like, if Andrew advise you, like you think he's a very responsible person. So <laughs> it, it, he sent me a video, was like, hey, he wants to come down to Nigeria. That he would like, like, he, like he would like to invite me for his mom's birthday party. Hmm. He sent me transport, he sent me 50k transport, gave me the uh, hotel address, which is pan new, that same pan new hotel he took Selene to. So when I went to the hotel, when I went to the hotel, I used boat. I went to the hotel. I saw it was like it, 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 I should I, I should accompany to go get a present for his mom for his mom, a better best present for his mom. That was how we drove from that hotel to Market Square. From Market Square, I was driving to another direction. I was like, where are you taking me to? He was like, eh, he wants to go to his family house, so his sister would tell me where to get my makeup done. That was how I followed Andrew to his house. The minute I got to Andrew's house, I was sitting, I was sitting there trying to update my friend. The next thing I received on my face was punch. I looked back, it was Andrew. I was like, what's up? What did I do to you? He was like, I hate you. You don't know how I hate you. I hate you. This, that. He was like, if you want to go my life, anything I ask you to do, just do this. And he collected my phones. I was responding to all my Instagram message, my WhatsApp message. That was why I said, that, that chat you posted is fake. That chat you posted is 100% fake, Mr. Ben. Because Andrew collected my phones and was chatting people. There was one, there's one guy that was only that was in so the chat. The and chat that he said he has with you is fake. Sorry? The chat that, that is a he has with me you. is fake. I need to see because for my for my for my observation, Andrew and Sinil chat started chatting on Facebook April 7th. Mm. And that message, the person that Andrew started chatting since for my observation, Andrew and Sini chat started chatting on Facebook April 7. Mm. And that message, the person that Andrew started chatting since last two years. So that I have I have everything on my phone. I have I know Andrew. I I stayed with him for six good days. So I know so many things. There are so many things I can't even spill out for security reasons. There are so many things I cannot spill out for security reasons. Some of the things you're saying are hundred percent correct because Andrew told me himself, which I will not say, which I which which, which, which I will not speak out. Ah, Nigerians, mm. but they try you. Actually, I've sat down and I listened and tried to analyze this Andrew's story um, and uh, and his victims, and I noticed the pattern. And Nigerians are running away from the root cause of this problem. We could run away from the root cause of this problem for as long as we want to. But the root cause of the problem is still staring us in the face. <laughs> All of you guys are saying, ah, don't shame the victims, don't shame the victims. Look at the pattern. The victims, look at them, follow them, have carefully gone to their social media handles and have looked at them. The lifestyle they live. <laughs> Listen, you see this problem? 
is a problem that stares us on the face. It's a problem that stares us in the face where our young girls have decided to seek the fastest route to making a livelihood. You look at Andrew's social media handles, you see a very successful man living a flamboyant life. He comes and promises you, mix you and offer. Ah, Bobby, any of now we think say you know they happen, not lie. And all the girls that are coming to say, no, don't shame them. Hey, wait, 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 hey, wait, wait, wait. All of them now, all of them now, they do the same thing. As I speak to you now, girls, they still they demand 500,000 to go visit man where they never meet. Girls still they demand 500,000 to go visit man where they live some certain kind of lifestyle that they can't even verify a source of livelihood. Lucky is their, is their commercial headquarters. That, like it is the commercial headquarters. Very soon, we'll have a female population that cannot work in Nigeria. We'll have a female population that will not take a 300,000 naira salary because they can get a man on social media who will give them 500,000 naira to just come and spend two days. In as much as we try to run away from this nonsense and we are trying, hey, hey, wait, 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 wait. Yes, Andrew is wrong. Andrew is a criminal. Andrew is whatever he is. But he is what he is because there are people who fall victims to that enticement. I go, go send them 50,000. 50,000, that's more money to Andrew. You go send them 50,000, use as transport. Oh, send me 50,000 for transport. Hey, wait, 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 wait. just transport 50,000. That means if I come in, go give me 1 million. Ooh. You have 1 million yourself too. The grave. Clap for yourself. Like, make I don't go find work. But I don't go find work. I heard this video here. What are your thoughts about this? Please, I want to hear from you in the comment section. This is where we're going to be ending the video today. Remember, we love you and God love you more. If you love us, the only way you can show your love is to like this video, comment your thoughts about this video in the comment section, share this video to all your platform. Above it all, please subscribe. If you do, turn on your notification bell so that you wouldn't miss out on our future uploads. Until we meet again, stay tuned to TV. Peace out. Love you guys.